A controversial plan to turn wastewater into drinking water in San Diego was approved today by the city council. New tonight, we are looking at the effort to change the negative toilet to tap image. 10 News reporter Vanessa Van Hefty is live downtown with how they plan to do it. Vanessa. Yeah, city leaders here at City Hall say so they are working hard to educate people on what this exactly means. This is a huge project, $3.5 billion, and it affects every single one of us. San Diego is closer to getting a third of its drinking water from sewage flows. The council voted on a move that sets the stage for recycled water. Instead of spending $2 billion to upgrade the Point Loma wastewater plant, the city said yes to a new system that would recycle wastewater, enough to make up 40% of San Diego's drinking water by 2035. The city is now trying to clean up misconceptions of the so called toilet to tap and images like these. The toilet to tap nomenclature is very, very misleading because, in fact, we take the water, we put it through five different treatment processes with a lot of testing between the different processes. And by the time we're done with that water, it is by far the cleanest, purest raw water supply that we have. But John Stump worries about the price tag, up to a 3% a year hike in our water bill. We're already challenged with the cost of housing, and we're going to add $4 billion worth of new fees. Most of the $3.5 billion program will be paid through state and federal grants. Orange County has a similar system, and backers say the purification process produces water cleaner than what we drink now. And backers here at City Hall say this is really a win-win situation. They say it's good for the economy, it's good for the environment, and in the long run, it'll be a good thing for ratepayers as well. But it does have several hoops to go through before it's a done deal. Reporting live from downtown, Vanessa Van Hefty, 10 News.